Okay, let's have a look at another one. Um, how about styrofoam? So styrofoam's real name is what's known as polystyrene. So what that means is there are many styrenes linked together. Well, styrene isn't something that we would necessarily expect you to know. So let's have a look at uh, what styrene is. So styrene is essentially an ethene molecule that has a phenyl branch, so a benzene group. All right, um, styrene is a common name um, that, again, if we ever want you to work with it, we just provide you the name. All right, now, some things to remember. The double bonds in benzene don't react. All right, so this uh, we looked at when we introduced benzene. Um, they will do nothing. So they're not going to be subject to the polymerization reaction, okay? They don't undergo the alkene addition reaction. All right, so what part of styrene reacts? Well, it's the double bond that sits uh, here between the two carbons in what looks like uh, an, the ethene part of the molecule. Okay, this is the double bond that's going to polymerize. Okay, so this is the only part of the molecule that changes. When, if asked to, you know, deduce the structure of polystyrene, we're essentially going to repeat the structure of styrene all right, benzene, intact benzene ring and all. The only thing that will change is the double bond. So I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to draw a number of styrene molecules. Okay, so here we have four styrenes. All right, we'll put the, the phenyl groups on. All right, now when the polymerization reaction happens, the same as it did for um, the polyethene, one electron from uh, each styrene molecule essentially goes to the middle uh, towards the next styrene molecule and they'll join to make bonds. Alright, so these will be a formal covalent bond between each of the styrenes. Alright, and the double bond is removed Okay, and we get a very long chain of styrene molecules. Alright, we end up calling the resulting chain polystyrene all right, there might be a hundred thousand of these repeating monomer units in a single chain. All right, this is where you get the phenomenal mechanical strength out of polystyrene. So if we said, okay, well, what's the repeating unit in this polymer? Right, we would say, all right, well, what, what part appears over and over and over again? So just in green, you actually can see the repeating unit. So same as with polyethene. Right, polystyrene is named for the repeating styrene unit shown here.